Good afternoon, folks. I thought I would give you a tour of the garden today. These are some of our potato plants that we planted, and they seem to be doing well. I have scratched between some of them, and there's a lot of potatoes in there. There's red potatoes, yellow potatoes, purple potatoes, white potatoes, and russet potatoes growing. A beautiful stand. On the trellis, I'm going to plant some cuca melons, which is a variety I've been wanting to try, but the seeds hadn't come in yet, so I'm waiting on those. This is sweet banana pepper. Sweet banana pepper with a mistake. I planted potatoes in the bottom of the container before I planted the peppers, and now I have pota potatoes and peppers growing in the same container. I don't know how that's going to go, but some more sweet banana pepper. Of course, tomato with some um, carrots growing in the bottom on both of those. And here are some sweet basil. These are ghost peppers, and if you know ghost peppers, they're very hot. I tried to find the Carolina Reaper this year, and I couldn't find them. These are um, jalapenos. Some more sweet basil. And, of course, more small tomatoes. People keep giving them to me, and I keep planting them. Swinging around, we're going to look at some more potato plants, which are growing well. We'll be loaded with potatoes. And these two rows are our string beans. These are Kentucky Wonders. I have a full row, and they are just now starting to bloom. And of course, here is our yellow crookneck squash, which are really coming along beautiful. They should be blooming soon with no problem. But this is a 100-foot row of them. So we will be well stocked up with squash. And of course, the next row is, this is cayenne pepper. And of course, more tomatoes. These are jalapenos. More tomatoes. Funny thing about planting these, I can't eat them, but I love to grow them. I am highly allergic to them, but they just, I don't know, something about growing them and giving them to other people makes me happy. And if you look close, you will see tomato fruit setting. So it's producing. Here is some Thai hot pepper. Some more sweet basil. Here's something I never grew. This is celery. And on that same row, I have English cucumbers. I have um, lemon cucumbers. And then regular ashy slicing cucumbers. And I'm going to grow them on a trellis this year. Never tried that, but I'm hoping it'll save my back because I seem to always miss a cucumber here or there. But as you see, they are doing well, and it won't be long before the trellis will be covered with cucumbers and cucumber vines. Here are some more jalapeno peppers. This is the variety of eggplant, the Chinese eggplant, which grows long and slender. And as you see, they are blooming. Some more Thai hot. And this is the American variety of eggplant, which are blooming also. And of course, nothing else but tomatoes. I think I planted about 60 plants this year. And this is the variety of zucchini squash. And if you look right down there, you will see, focus it in, my first zucchini squash coming on. And again, a hundred foot row of nothing but zucchini. I'm hoping there's a lot of people that's going to like zucchini and yellow squash. 
because that is not my favorite. And some more string beans. We have two more rows of those. Those are called Blue Lake. And they are coming on real well. And of course, my sad attempt of growing okra. I've never been able to grow okra here. This is the first year that I actually have a 100 foot row of okra. I need some hot weather to really make it grow, but it's coming on. All right, well, that's the tour of my little garden. I hope you enjoyed it. Pray that you will take care and see you next time.